I may be hungry, but at least I'm not thirsty. It's actually the diametrical opposite. Oh my God. Why leave their dad when you can just be mother? You need to get a therapist immediately. In the cocktail of life, a New Yorker is never shaken nor stirred. Okay, well, whatever that means. Just like a painting, you'll need a couple of looks to figure me out. Who is this? I'm not up and coming. I am already there. Honey, you have to stop saying that. Lot looks good on me, but down what doesn't. Is your wig squeezing your brain too tight, heifer? Not everyone can be jealous of lions, but they can try. Apparently I'm a lesbian. Where is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to get that in there. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Lionel. I'm your host for LT Productions and you are watching I Watch You Watch. Um, we are covering the Real Housewives of New York. I think this is season 15, second season of the reboot. I don't understand why they didn't just reboot, reboot and just go back to one or something, but whatever. <laughs> I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Uh, please like this video. And also, you can subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and you can leave your comments below. Let's get into this episode. I don't think I'll be before you too long. All right, so we open up this episode of some type of drama that took place, I guess, towards the end of the season. Um, something happened between Bren and Uva. We've seen a lot in the trailer. Of There's a lot of shade and name calling. Um, of course, everyone's giving their feedback because they're doing their uh, per, uh, a marketing shoot, you know, when they do their group shots and they just don't know how things are supposed to be. So then after that, we uh, fast forward, basically move all the way back to the f first of the season. I think it was like three months beforehand. And we start off with Bren. Bren, uh, she's moved to Grand Mercy Park. Um, she needed a bigger space because uh, my family is growing and she has a dog. Uh, well, we never got to see the other space. Um, we were told, at least through social media, that their place wouldn't allow any cameras in. The old place. Some people thought someone was taking care of the bill and just couldn't see the place, or maybe she wasn't really living in New York or whatever. Anyways, she has a new place. We can see it. Um, one of my Twitter friends, Live Love Simone, <laughs> noticed that hallway looking very janky. <laughs> Shout out to Miss uh, 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 Miss Bell. Um, my bell, I wanted to get your whole name right and I don't know, but I know your bell. <laughs> well, she says janky, or you can say raggedy because she says raggedy and janky. <laughs> oh, oh, my YouTube friend. Um, anyways, we saw that. Darius, her, her brother is going to be staying with her for a month or staying in New York for a month. She's trying to get her brother to move to uh, new, back to New York. And then, of course, we're getting all of the sexual in the windows that she always does. It's annoying. I understand jokes here and there, but you just you make that a part of your personality and it's cringe and I could go further, but won't. Pavi, Pavot and Jessel, they are in New York and they are riding the subway. This is like the, the second or third time that Jessel has read, rode the subway because that's not what she does. <laughs> um, they talk about, I guess, Jessel usually uses uber and the bill last month was like 900 dollars. i said lord <laughs> the ability to waste that much money that is so cool oh <laughs> uh, but she said i don't think a pilot has seen that uh um bill as of yet um it looks like since the the video that went viral with uh pavit going over to i forgot where he went to but was doing that whole 72 hour plane ride and what side was trying to suggest that pavit was over there getting his freak on which was really he's just rich and can do that sigh and you just are hungry um anyways he kind of became a food influencer <laughs> jessel makes fun of that um i think jessel has stepped it up in the confessionals i think to be more funny some things are funny and i love jessel down that's the one i'm going to always go to and root for i just don't know if she has to it looks like she wants to put on now and you really don't jessel still be yourself ma'am still be yourself because that's why we loved you and fell in love with you um jessel talks about her embryos that are in beverly hills ready to be housed pilot says he wants no more children 
Now, I need to know. But I mean, they harvested all of these eggs because they still went through that IVF treatment. Um, I think it's really hard for parents if you have these twin boys or, I mean, you've got two children and it's quite hard, you know? It keeps your life very full. I think if Jessel waited a couple years, at least for the twins to get out of the terrible twos and all of that, maybe Poppet will be more open to it. However, uh, possibly Jessel doesn't have that much time if she wants to birth her own children. I mean, get a Syria. It looked like y'all can really afford it. So maybe let them get up to age four or five. I mean, they're in the kindergarten garden age and a little bit more where you don't have to watch, 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 watch your children, even though you should watch your children. I'm not saying that, but it, possibly there'll be a little bit of an independence there where they can go off and do their thing instead of you seeing them getting into every little thing, you know? I don't know. But then, of course, Justin was like, We're, you're holding out, but what if we have the next um, Beyonce or Elon Musk? Pavit makes a joke about, oh, we'll drop Beyonce and let's get Elon Musk. Um, and of course, people were already online uh, with the trailer. I, for, I don't even know if she said anything about Beyonce at that point, but because he mentioned that he wants someone like Elon Musk, everyone thinks that he's MAGA, and now people don't like him. Uh, well, I don't know how he's voting, but is this a surprise if any of these people are MAGA? And I don't even know if they're MAGA. They could just be Republicans. They don't have to be Republican and be for Donald Trump. Or MAGA, you know? So I think that that's wrong, that we're stereotyping a whole political um, party. Of course, it's kind of dangerous right now to be a Republican because you're going to be put in that whole crock pot of dung. <laughs> so, whatever. I still like Justin Pavit. I don't care what y'all say. I mean, it's not like he's preaching to us any type of political stuff. What they do in their personal lives is no concern of me. If you are spewing out stuff that I don't agree with, that is kind of that is political or something, then okay, then we can go from there. But instead of getting to know people as to what they're bringing to this show, let's stick to that and focus on that. That's my opinion. <clears throat> All right, so we move on to Aaron and Uba. They are back together, reunited, and it feels so good. Okay. Um, Aaron says that we are like peanut butter and jelly. Um, she says that she talks to Uba more than her sister. That's interesting. That's interesting. And I'll leave it there, because I'm sure I'm going to be making comments later on this season. <laughs> Rebecca Minkoff comes and um, joins Aaron. This is one of her friends. She's a fashion designer, someone really top notch up there. Um, I've just heard of her name. I haven't really studied her, but I'm sure that she's great and wonderful. Uba and Rebecca, they're hitting it off pretty well. Um, Uba has a man, his name is Oliver. I don't know if this is the person from last season or not, but they're to the point where Uba wants to have a baby. It wants to start around October, November. Okay, and I'll leave that there because <laughs> it's like, how do I comment? I have a comment, but I'm, I think I may be speaking too fast about it, so I'll just hold my peace for now. Um, they talk about, you know, Brent wants to have a party. I guess it's for her brother or whatever, whatever. Aaron's like, yeah, I do want to go, but I do have some issues with Brent. So it looks like every, every scene is going to start off with Brent misinterpreting what a person says. We did that last year about the whole cheese thing. <laughs> um... She feels, she's hearing that Bren is saying something about a story that she told Bren about uh, Jenna. I think they went up to the Hamptons or whatever. Jenna came up there with her classic car. I forgot what car it was. It broke down. She had to get back to the city and um, Aaron sponsored an Uber to get back or an Uber car, yeah. And Jenna didn't pay her back. Somehow, <laughs> Bren brought it back to Jen saying, oh yeah, Aaron says you're poor. I was like, oh. So we found out later in the episode, you know, how Aaron was saying it, according to her, is that it was a joke, a jokingly manner. But your jokes kind of are, are interesting, Aaron, because you did do something towards Jenna last season when she did not want to fly coach and wanted to fly um, uh, first class. You know how to spend stuff, too. I don't know who's correct and who's wrong. We know that Bryn will spend stuff, but both of y'all are quite interesting when it comes to the truth and how y'all want to tell stories. But this is somebody that you love. 
Like, you know who Brynn is and you keep telling her stuff. I saw something in the trailer. I'm like, why are you telling her? Well, you know what she just did to you. You're, so it's a little bit like, okay, well, how do we really judge these relationships on this show if y'all just go right back into the rhythm of things just to film, but you're mad when the person does what you put yourself in the position for this person to do? I know I'm judging right off the bat, but I had a side eye watching this whole episode because of how I feel about these new group of girls. Um, let's see. So Bryn, she's going to buy a kitchen table. I think it's cool to see these women shop. I think it's cool. I would love to see that on other franchises. For some reason, the black franchises, we don't see that. But we'll get a charcuterie board really quick. Let's see y'all shop. Is there anything in Atlanta that y'all can go shop at that looks high end? Just saying. Just saying. Um, Jenna and Jessel, they join. You know, Brent says that she didn't really ask Jessel to come for her taste. We go back to the flashback of Brent doesn't liking uh, Jessel's taste. Um, she says she's really there for to give her the truth about certain things, not so much as taste. Jenna is there for taste. And it looks like Jenna and Brent are going to be doing this flirting mess, Brent acting like she's part-time lesbian or whatever she's trying to do, whatever. Um, Jenna sits down and she smells herself and it doesn't smell good. And then Brent comes over and smells her. I'm like, okay, that, <laughs> okay. So they talk about Brent, what Brent is upset with Aaron. Now, Brent may have been trying to get back at um, Aaron for what was said on the Jeff Lewis show. There was suggestive talk that Brent gets her money by a sugar daddy or someone else. You know, it looks like she could be a little prostitution-ish. Um, Brent didn't like that. Aaron apologized to her about that. Um, later on in the episode, it's brought up and she said, no, it wasn't said that you were, um, you had a sugar daddy. Jeff Lewis said it in a different type of way, but basically you have a financer. <laughs> you know, she said, I didn't say that. I could have shut it down, da 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 da. And that's what I apologize for. And that's cool, whatever. But Aaron and Brynn do certain stuff to each other. That's what I'm picking up. Um, Jenna said that she was over it. She said she don't know who was really telling the truth, but whatever. It's like, like, going back and forth over things that you'll never really get an answer for. It's like, okay, let me just, no, <laughs> let's just move on. Psy, Psy, Jenna and Jessel, they go to this place that's, that you plunge. You get in some water and I guess it's supposed to help lose weight. Psy says that she's in therapy and I don't believe it one bit. And Psy makes me lose respect for you even more. Because you're saying I watch myself on TV and I'm just trying to figure out why am I just going off on people like that? That's just not me. Ah. Ma'am, <laughs> you went off on people like that because that's who you are. And now that there's a negative response, now you're saying I'm in therapy and what? And I'm just so happy. I'm just so... <laughs> Later on in the episode, she zins Psy and then that goes out the window as soon as she talks to Bren. Ma'am, I don't believe it one bit. And what makes me lose more respect for you is that you're changing for us. Because I'm sure somebody in your normal life has told you about yourself. And you needed a camera to now say. Even though you said that you don't give a F about anything. Nah. You care about people's perception of you. And that makes you weak in my book. Now, if you realize you're wrong, cool. I don't believe you realize you're wrong. And I think you're playing for the camera. Um, Sai says she's, she's going to come to Bryn's party, but she doesn't really know... Um, she's really coming for Sai's brother because he's nice or whatever, but uh, not really, kind of not really, not feeling Bryn. Jen and Sai, they talk about, Jenna heard that Sai said that she hated her. She said, I never said I hated you. I think I said I, I could not stand you, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, Jenna has a friend. Her name is Raquel. She's a curator and advisor for work, uh, for art. Um, her work she also does her own artistry, like as an artist. Um, some of her work has been seen on Empire, her art pieces, on the show Severance, and also in Just Like That, which is a spinoff from Sex and the City. Jenna and Raquel kind of were friends at the same time of the same things that were going on. They were both getting a divorce from their male husbands and also coming out at the same time. So it was cool to have someone that supported each other that are going under the same circumstances. Um, 
she talks about a woman that she's currently seeing that we find out a little bit later that she's engaged to mel mel was just a friend mel was married to another woman and then how she was saying it then is that we became lovers and now we're and now we're engaged i said so were you just waiting in the wings <laughs> rebecca because it was kind of scandalous uh, her mom isn't too fond of her being gay um and kind of thinks it's, it's a little bit much that you were friends with this person and the mom knew Mel while she was married, and now you're done hooked up with this woman. Were you, are you a, a woman stealer, Raquel? It's just how it was presented. So I'm gonna see if there's more that's gonna happen during the season. Um, Aaron and Abe. We find out that they moved to a new apartment. Um, they moved from Tribeca to the Upper West Side. Um, it's not up and coming. It's been here, and we'll always be here. No. Um, one of her sons says it's too small, and Aaron's like, Ugh, not like you're paying anything, son. But obviously he appreciates real estate. Uh, we find out that Aaron's mom has breast cancer, and it's aggressive, and she has to have treat, uh, chemo. I guess this is the third treatment that she's had. We're praying for a recovery for um, Aaron's mom. She said that she can't tell the children. Um, her mom is like a, a, another mom to them, and she wants to shield them, at least for a little bit longer. Uh, but it looks like they're ready to move again to a townhouse. Abe says that that's kind of his dream, especially living in New York. So they're looking into that. Abe makes some jokes about doing some shrooms. Aaron doesn't like that she's saying he's saying that on camera. So are you trying to produce yourself on this camera, ma'am? So Abe gets upset, like, don't control my words. It looks like Abe's trying to be himself. I don't think any of us are going to look at you crazy. Abe for saying that. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, maybe something else we could get on you about, but okay, that's your life. I'm not. I can't judge that. Whatever. Um, let me make sure. Okay. Raquel. We meet Raquel and her now fiance, Mel. They are motorcyclists. They love that adrenaline rush. Um, and also Raquel is in her menopausal era. Um, her children love Mel, and a lot of times when Raquel comes in the presence, she, they're like, where's Mel? It's like, oh, so you love her more than me? It's kind of that type of situation that's happening. Uh, Bren's party now, we're at the rooftop lounge. Jenna comes, then it's Cy, then Aaron, Jessel, Rebecca, and Raquel. Um, I did notice that nobody brought gifts. Rude, rude. I didn't see anything, if y'all saw anything. It was brought up about Jenna's dress. It's pink with this um, red ribbon on it. And they made a joke about it. She looking like a vagina that's on its monthly. And I'm like, really? I guess that's how women talk. Is that how women talk? Women get in the comments and let me know. Cause I'm like, Ugh, okay. <laughs> um, but they be saying cringe stuff all the time. Jessel arrives. She talks with Bran saying that she got a creepy text from Aaron saying i'm so disappointed like i'm your mother <laughs> so signed jenna talk and she heard jenna said that she heard from bren that Sai hated her no i didn't say that i said that i couldn't stand you and i really i judged you i talked a lot of ish and i judged you before getting to know you i didn't feel like you were being yourself blah 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 blah, blah. So I'm sorry, but I did not say I hated you. So that pisses off Sai. She's like, oh, Zen's side is over. And then they start they start going in on Bryn because there was another separate conversation because Aaron's upset with Bryn for lying and twisting the words of what she was saying about Jenna. Um, Sai gets a whack it at her. While she's talking, you know, I don't know what's going on with you, but it seems like everything's been weird since you saw Aaron and Jenna getting more closer. I think Sai said that Bren gets mad if anyone in the group gets close to one another and it's not her. So she said that tension was so thick and da 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 da. And Bren was like, no, it was thick because of what you were talking about, Jessel's husband. And then she's like, what? what? We're back to that again? You are unwell. Not today, Satan. Not today. How are you going to deflect when we were talking about you? <laughs> I think she was just bringing up um, <laughs> what was really going on in that moment. But hey, hey. Hey, you want the subject to be on her? So I guess do whatever. To make it look like you are above all the drama now. Mary J. Blige above the drama. Okay. No more drama. Okay. Okay, sorry. 
Aaron gets in on Bree and all that stuff, but Bren retreats and she leaves. She cries on her brother saying, you know, they're saying I'm just this bad friend and I do all these things and I'm a liar and I just don't like how they're defaming my character. Okay, here we go. But Sai seems to be able to make her cry a lot. I see. But anyways, <sighs> interesting season. Y'all tell me your thoughts. I'm kind of just going to be side eyeing everything until I feel relaxed again. I think I like the new lady so far and we'll see how it goes. I know people are upset about this one. I think Rebecca is a Zionist or whatever. I don't know. If she's not preaching the crap on my TV, why does it matter? I, I don't I don't get that. I don't get it. But whatever. Y'all like to pick and choose. You got and, and then you got homophobic and transphobic people that y'all worship as housewives. And y'all say nothing because they're women. But <laughs> you got certain things you, you just let the line is always moving, as Candace said. So, anyways, that's all I got to say. We'll see how this season goes. I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not, and leave your comments below. Until the next one, peace.